Colombia's top-ranking general is facing some new damning revelations. This is the latest blow to the reputation of the country's U.S.-backed military and its crackdown on leftist guerrillas decades ago. Human Rights Watch has long been raising and highlighting atrocities. According to the prosecutor files, General Nicasio Martinez Espinal would pay to a source for the location of rebels, and then the soldiers would move in for the kill. At one point, the general was trying to claim he had no idea that these payments were being issued. However, the new documents ripped that claim to shreds. The general reportedly ordered his troops to double the body count and to accept that higher civilian casualties was just a natural consequence. The New York Times reporter who was working on this story was recently forced to flee the country. Human rights and press freedom groups are worried. Lawmakers have the right to question any piece of reporting, but dangerous and irresponsible comments like those made against Nicholas Casey have the potential to endanger his security and discourage reporting on sensitive issues in Colombia. Now you would think that with human rights violations and American journalists being threatened, that U.S.-Columbia relations might actually suffer. Well, if you thought that, you would be wrong. Apparently there was just a meeting between the Vice President of Colombia and the U.S. Secretary of Defense that was described as friendly. We always thank to the United States support. For many years we have been working together with your institutions. The USA continues to shower weapons on Colombia, seeing it as a useful ally against Venezuela, Bolivia, and other opponents. Trump just spoke highly of the U.S.-Colombia partnership. I just want to thank the president for uh, working with us, and we're working together. Uh, our militaries are very focused and working together. In effect, the population is not People in Colombia are deeply concerned about this situation and they want to see justice served and for the truth to be uncovered. It's also vital for the government and its international status. We do not know whether the general will lose this post. This is the task of the justice system which needs to resolve the case. Imagine that some high-ranking Venezuelan commander was accused of killing civilians and then covering it up. The White House would be up in arms. But when it comes to a friend like Colombia, mass killings aren't such a big deal. Caleb Maupin, RT, New York.